Okay, for our next section, we're going to be doing some microbiology work, but talking about a project that we've got running in the School of Pharmacy um, called the Pharma Bees Project. But to do that, we need to introduce you to some basic concepts of microbiology and um, kind of tell you about the problem that um, we then tried to solve um, through our Pharma Bees Microbiology Project. So, as we know that bacteria are tiny microorganisms that are found everywhere. Some of them are friendly and helpful for things like digestion, but other bacteria can cause very serious diseases. And what's interesting is you can see from um, looking at these different types of bacteria that actually they're not all the same. They come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Some of them are these um, kind of round bead shapes and lots of rod shaped ones. Some of them have these little tails that we call for jelly. And those different shapes help them to do different jobs and to live in different parts of the body and on different surfaces. So they're perfectly adapted to survive in very specific conditions. So what's the problem with bacteria? So as we said, some of them can cause different diseases. So we'll look now at some of the different types of infection that can be caused by bacteria. So if you don't like gory pictures, look away now. And if you do, get excited because these are going to be some yucky disease pictures now. So you can see, um, this is a bacterial infection of the tonsils. You can see all this um, nasty pus growing there. So this is um, caused usually um, by some of those um, round bacteria that we saw, some of the stepworms. They cause quite nasty um, uh, infections. Uh, strep throat is quite a bad one. We've got meningitis here. You can see this is a really um, nasty infection that happens when bacteria can get into the spinal cord. Um, and into the meninges, sort of like the lining um, of the brain. And when it spreads uh, into the bloodstream, you can get this nasty, nasty rash here when it becomes something called septicemia. Uh, and luckily in this country, you, um, in secondary school, will get a vaccine against this. So vaccines are really important for protecting you from certain types um, of infection. And food poisoning, you don't want to put a picture of this. It's a very disgusting side of it. Um, but that can be caused from sort of eating food that's not prepared properly, so meat that isn't cooked properly and, and people that haven't washed their hands when they're preparing their food. Um, so that's why hand washing is incredibly important. So we treat uh, bacterial infections using a special ca category of drugs uh, called antibiotics. So they are these fantastic medicines that are really good for, for treating bacterial infections. And you can see them... Um, at work here on this plate covered in bacteria, so all that green um, is where the bacteria are growing. And you can see that in these areas here where different types of antibiotics have been spotted, these two antibiotics in particular um, have killed all of these bacteria, so the bacteria can't grow um, under those antibiotics. So these are medicines that would work particularly well to treat whatever infection um, is growing there. Unfortunately, however, Antibiotic resistance is becoming a growing problem. So bacteria are quite clever in that they can evolve um, mechanisms to, to stop those medicines working. Um, and so we need, um, as researchers and at the School of Pharmacy, to, to tackle this by developing some new medicines. And we've been doing that by looking at ancient remedies, so looking in old places for new treatments. So, now we can meet one of these antibiotic resistant bacteria. So this again is some, some quite yucky photos um, showing the effects of an antibiotic resistant uh, bacterial infection. So you can see the bacteria here. These are um, methicillin resistant Staph aureus bacteria known as MRSA. You can see when they get inside a nasty wound, it causes these horrible infections and these just don't heal with the normal antibiotics we use. So it's something that we need to develop new um, medicines for. So we can now watch a video showing how in the School of Pharmacy we've been working towards finding new medicines in natural products.